Here's my question for you, Ben Rhodes. This is absolutely political. These are the political supporters of the most prominent politician in the Republican Party. Of course, this is political. And um, I'm not arguing that this was a good idea, but September 11th was in the foreground of the midterm elections in 02. Ugh, folks, I am just thunderstruck by how utterly bonkers this clown is allowed to be on national cable news. Yeah, obviously she has free speech, but what's the rationale being used to justify labeling Republicans, and by extension, their supporters, as domestic terrorist threats? Especially after years worth of violent communist mobs attacking our constitutional republic. You got Nicole Wallace here with her catcher's mitt looking face, no, seriously, she looks like she could be the daughter of Robert Zadar. Is one of the more inflammatory, seditious people on cable news. She even once claimed on her show, completely baselessly, that Trump was exterminating Latinos, and then gave a very half-hearted apology. Why would she apologize? She suffers no backlash for any of the insane crap she says. The worst parts of this clip are still to come, but first, take a quick moment to hear about this special offer for my viewers. Studies show that the adult body produces 10% less collagen every decade. If you're over 40, that should terrify you. Collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. I've noticed that I look younger, have fewer wrinkles, and have more energy since taking my multi-collagen. My skin specifically looks and feels so much firmer. Learn more by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com. Furthermore, you'll get 51% off your first bottle if you order today, plus a 60-day money-back guarantee. Now, before I show you the rest of this clip, I I wanted to give you all a quick history on the Democrats and their media calling the Republicans terrorists. During the Bush years, any time there was a threatened government shutdown over budget disagreements, the media would refer to Republicans as suicide bombers holding the country hostage. What was the answer to my question about who the hostage taker is, Willie? Sounds like Pat's boys. Pat's <laughs> <laughs> boys are holding the hostage. That's like I, mean, that, I think they're the, they're the suicide bombers in all of this. Oh, wow. I, I, don't, I think they're standing on principle. They're doing they, what they believe is oh. They are just not serious people. Well, the GOP has become the Wahhabis of American government, willing to risk bringing down the whole country in the service of their anti-tax ideology. Just like today, the shutdowns are always the Republicans' fault. Then they upped to Annie and started calling the NRA a terrorist organization and its supporters terrorist supporters. I actually spoke to a woman at an anti-gun rally that agreed with this. Something I, I would want to ask, just to kind of gauge where people are at. Um, you might have saw... I, I think it was uh, San Diego or San Francisco where they just declared uh, the NRA a terrorist organization. Would you would you agree with that? Yes, yes, definitely. Now, of course, we have all this subversive Democrat Party propaganda and even possibly CCP operatives in the media calling for 75 million Americans to be labeled domestic terrorist threats that the government should drone bomb like Al Qaeda. Which, by the way, is another brilliant idea of this traitorous hack. I just talked yesterday about a New York Times reporter who called for Republicans to be labeled, quote, enemies of the state who turned out to be a CCP operative. Then yesterday, I find out that Nicole Wallace is echoing her sentiment. And I wonder what your advice is. I think the security questions of the Republican Party as a domestic terror threat that were raised by the police officers whose political affiliation is unknown should be front and center for the Democrats in these midterm elections. Yeah, I, absolutely, Nicole. I don't know what's more of a mindfuck here. The fact that she wants her political opposition to be labeled as domestic terrorist threats, or the fact that she admitted that she wants to do it so that Democrats can win in the midterm. I've been saying for years now that the left is particularly dangerous because of their ability to rationalize anything in pursuit of their political agenda. I've also said for years that their end goal here is one party rule with their opposition ghosted in one way or the other. We're seeing that right now. And I just love how she throws out there that we don't know the political affiliation of these Capitol Police from the hearing. When we know at least one of these guys is a far-left activist who's been openly supportive of the George Floyd and Kenosha riots. She wasn't done, though. The next day, she brought on a fellow murderous nut job who had this psychotic episode. And they're not attacking white people. Like, let's be honest about this here, right? They're attacking Simone Biles, they're attacking Officer Grinnell, they're attacking Officer Dunn. This is not an offshoot. This is a strategy. And they continue to compound it in 
in part because it animates. Whoa, 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 wait a minute here. Did he seriously just accuse people of questioning these Capitol Police's obvious theatrics of being racists? He says, quote, let's be honest about this. They aren't attacking white people, as the video literally shows two white Capitol Police that have come under scrutiny for their sob stories. Amazing. It just shows how these people will use skin color as a shield from criticism and to demonize the critics. That extreme part of this movement, which I will say every time I'm on your show, is the number one national security threat we face right now. It's not Al-Qaeda, it's not ISIS, it's not Iran, it's domestic extremism. Osama bin Laden never took over the Capitol. These people did, and many of them are still out there. Al-Qaeda killed over 3,000 Americans, mostly civilians, destroyed the World Trade Center, and almost took out the Pentagon. But a handful of rowdy protesters who were led into the Capitol and then given a tour before they peacefully left have somehow taken over the Capitol and committed untold horrendous acts like putting their feet up on Pelosi's desk? You're telling me that's the same thing? No, no worse than 9-11. I'll say, the Democrats seem to be really worried about the midterms. Hopefully they don't literally round us all up and throw us in the gulag before the elections. But we're at the point where I wouldn't put that past them. Now, there's something I've been wanting to do at the end of these videos, but I keep forgetting, which is to tell you who is sponsoring these violence inciting, seditious shows on cable and network TV. In this case, you got Travago, USAA, and <laughs> Verizon that think you're a terrorist that should be treated as such by the government. So maybe giving them your money isn't such a good idea. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. As always, Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and leave me a comment to let me know what you think.